if you imagine that this patient has had a really nasty road traffic accident and you can see there's a rather large bone defect here, what typically happens is that patient will go into hospital and they'll have an MRI scan or a CT scan and we get an image of that defected bone tissue and what we can do with our 3D printing technology is we can create a customised implant to go back into that defect site which will fit perfectly and anatomically into that defect site. So instead of just creating a, a resolvable plastic implant, we can create this in a 3D printer and at the same time we can add growth factors which stimulate new tissue formation and we can add stem cells from the same patient that's on the operating theatre and we can put that into the scaffold so we can print those at the same time to create a scaffold material that has stem cells and growth factors in there that we can then implant back into the patient. So we have a polymer that we use very extensively in our group called polycaprolactone. So this is a polymer that's resolvable which means that over many months it dissolves. So if you imagine we create that into a 3D structure and we implant that into the human body, that 3D structure starts to dissolve over time and the patient's own bone tissue can grow into that structure and then it dissolves a bit more and the patient's tissue grows even more and eventually you're ending up with a regenerated defect site. The scaffolds are resolved completely and the patient's tissue has grown into that scaffold. So this technology has been implanted already into patients into the skull where patients have had a brain injury, they've had to have had a drill hole through the skull and we can plug that with this polymer and material polycaprolactone, it dissolves over time and the head completely heals. Really what we're trying to do now is speed that process up. Rather than it taking six months, we want to be able to heal these defects in two months. The 3D printing technology, we are able to already create clinically relevant implantation um, scaffolds. So they're already in the clinic using just very simple resolvable polymers. Um, but generally the public perception is that we may very soon be able to print a beating heart. Now we have to be very wary about this kind of perception that the public have because we're really many, many years away from that kind of, um, from, from having those kind of structures being able to be made. So we, we can't create a, a living, beating human heart yet, but we can create a scaffold that is made of the same kind of material, the same shape as the heart, and we can start to infuse different cells into that structure in the laboratory to see if we can start to grow the right tissue. So tissue that's sort of electrically stimulated because the heart has many different functions. It has to withstand a lot of pressures, for example. It's not just an inert tissue that sits in the body. So bone is very easy to regenerate. So we can create scaffolds to regenerate bone. We can create scaffolds for cartilage as well. But creating human organs, beating hearts, lungs, liver, we're still quite a few years away from that. But we are making advances and I, I predict that in a few years, with the right kind of support, we'll be able to really, I guess, push this research and get these into the clinic to really help these patients who are suffering from organ loss. The short-term goals are to educate and to sort of spin off the next generation of scientists who want to be starting 3D printing medical companies and also sort of feeding it into a clinical setting where doctors adopt this technology. Um, and I think the long-term vision for what we're trying to do is that we want to have in every single hospital in the world a 3D printer in the operating theatre so that when a patient admits to hospital and they've had a fracture for example we can take their scan data set from the MRI imaging or the CT scanning and we can print it on the spot in the theatre to create a customised patient specific implant for that patient. <laughs>